to this practical session on our lesson that we did concerning house and home. House and home. This is a practical session, a practical exercise to gauge our understanding of that particular topic. Now, as a reminder, we said, take care not to say, take care, be careful, take care not to say, my house, his house, your house, when you ought to say, when you should rather say, home, when you should rather say, my home, his home, your home, a house is any building used for dwelling in. A house is any building used for dwelling in. But a home is that particular house in which one is living. A home is that particular, that particular house in which one is living. We also say that home can mean one's own country, your country. That is the nation where you're coming from. That, that can also be your home. That could also denote or mean your home. So, with that information at the back of our mind, let us do the practical exercise. Number one, let us go inside the house, inside the home. What are we going to write there? Let us go inside the house. Number one. Number two, the house, the home, was sold for $10,000. What are we going to put there? The house was sold for $10,000. Number three, east or west house, home is the best. What are we going to put there? We are going to underline east or west, home is the best. Number four, many houses, many homes are being built now. What are we going to put there? Many houses are being built this year, are being built now. Number five, my house, my home is in Zambia. What are we going to put there? My home is in Zambia my home. Number, you could also say my house, that is your building. If you may take care when you say house, okay, it's home. I live in a, what are we going to put there? I live in a home. I live in a home. Look at number seven. Julie wants to build five houses, five homes, this same. What are we going to put there? Julie wants to build five houses this year. Number eight, we are going house, we are going home this summer. What are we going to put there? We are going to underline home, we are going home this summer. Look at number nine, James has a big house, has a big home in the city. What are we going to put there? James has a big home, that is, a home in the city. Also say house in the city. Look at number 10. Many people are dwelling in this house, in this home. What are we going to put there? Many people are dwelling in this house. Look at number 11. How many houses, how many homes can you count in New York? What are we going to put there? How many houses can you count in New York? Look at number 12. They will go out. They will go home soon. What are we going to put there? They will go home soon. Number 13. This is my house. This is my home. What are we going to put there? This is my home. This is my home. And so, we've been able to provide answers to that. We've been able to provide answers to that. Now, let's read our answers. Let's read the sentences with the correct answer. Let us go inside the house. The house was sold for $10,000. It 
east or west, who is the best? How many houses have been built now? My home is in Zambia. I live in a home. Julie wants to build five houses this year. We are going home this summer. James has a big home in the city. Many people are dwelling in this house. How many houses can you count in New York? They will go home soon. This is my home. This is my home. And that is that as a practical session on the lesson that we did concerning home and house. If you like our video, please share, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to support our family-based adult literacy program.